This video is brought to you by Squarespace. <sighs> it's finally done. Well, it took a few months, but it went from this to... Actually, just let me show you. Hello and welcome. We are about to test out some paint colors on the wall, and then we're going to revisit it at multiple times of the day to check what the paint looks like in different lighting. But this is step one in the office renovation process. I think this is Chantilly Lace. Oh yeah? Huh, okay. Okay, which one do we want to do next? Decorator's white or paper white? Let's go for decorator's white. So this is decorator's white. This is Becky and Chris's personal fave. Yo, I can't see the difference. <laughs> uh, last but not least, we have paper white, which should be a more, yeah, I've got to do it over here, right? A yep. more uh, gray. I can tell looking at this one, it looks more gray. <laughs> The second it goes on the wall, we're like, what's <laughs> <laughs> the same? Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, Chris, what are your thoughts? It speaks for itself, come on. <laughs> Did we show everybody what happened in this corner over here? So this man or woman, whoever it was, previous owners, used caulking on the side wall here. There's a hole. That's great. Hi. They caulked over top of the wallpaper. <laughs> Every decision in this house is either brilliant or just why. We are finally at the stage of priming the walls. Anywho, here we go. Ugh, this hole. Ugh. Ugh! I know. Will I stop vlogging on my phone? Not, not, not for a bit. Cause you know what? This is convenient. We have some wine. We're gonna hang some curtains in the office. Exciting day for decisions in the office. Sorry, I my forehead's kind of red because I was picking at some blackheads. We originally were thinking we would get the same hardwood throughout the second floor, but we were worried that was gonna be too expensive. So we got another quote for carpet because we thought carpet would be cheaper. It turns out I like the most expensive carpet, which is wool. So then we kind of went back to thinking about wood again. So we decided to do a completely different wood on the second floor. We've chosen this beautiful oak. It's called Nordic sand, that's the color. Chris woke me up from a nap because apparently they made good progress on the floor upstairs today. So I'm gonna see it for the first time. Whoa! 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 Doesn't it look amazing? It smells like forest. We are in the midst of installing a custom, what do you call it, built-in walls, cabinet storage tree cabinet situation. unit. <laughs> so that literally all you see when you go into the office is our two desks, beautiful. And then it's also a cool backdrop, which is why we're getting my very talented uncle to make it so that it also looks good. <laughs> First item on the shelf. Last night, they installed the counter. It couldn't look more perfect. Oh my God, yes. We got our desks yesterday from Fully. Just assembled Josh's. This is the Remy. Now we're assembling mine. And by we, I mean me and my cats. <laughs> They're actually not that hard to assemble. I just have a podcast on and it, it, it's a good time. They just finished the tile. It looks so good. Oh, I love it. Doing the last task to finish off the office, and it's hanging eight prints perfectly symmetrically on the wall, and it's really testing my OCD limits. How do you feel? I love this stuff. So I'm good. <laughs> Is that not dra enough drama for you? We could make a mistake. It could look like shit. What do we think my heart rate is? You enjoying this video? Cool. 
Couple things I'm gonna ask you to do then. One, maybe subscribe to my channel. Uh, two, listen to me talk about Squarespace for a minute. Thanks. I used Squarespace to make my website. I legitimately did, even before they paid me to do this ad. The template I chose was clean and stylish, and I literally built it myself. I really struggle with design, but Squarespace made it super easy for me to showcase my portfolio beautifully. The platform is super easy for me to customize, update regularly, and I can get analytics about the purchases made on my digital products through my online store. And I run my own business, so I don't have time to learn a whole new platform. All right, so head over to Squarespace for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, you can use this code right here to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks Squarespace. Now back to the video. Well, although this transformation took longer than expected, it's finally done. This is the final office. It's taken months to get to this point. Oh my gosh, where do I even begin? This room before was the worst. It had wallpaper on this wall, a half painted wall on that wall, and we just painted the whole thing white, nice and clean. We redid the floors on this entire floor to this beautiful light oak. We picked up a few little accent pieces that were a little more inexpensive. This is from Ikea. This lamp is from Structube, and we moved these around the office depending on what we need to stage for different types of shots and that was really the whole concept of this office was to have different pieces of furniture that are on wheels or light that we can pick up and move around whenever we want to rearrange the office and have a bit of a fresh space so luckily my uncle is a cabinet maker so I got a little lucky there he custom built this entire wall unit but also makes a really cool backdrop so as you can see everything has a home tripods bags pelican case everything is soft clothes as well. Oh, this is one of my favorite drawers. This is our charging drawer. If you haven't seen that video where we made this entire drawer into a charging station, and that'll be linked up here. This one is our filter drawer. This is a, just a whole bunch of cables. So everything has a place in here and we have the opportunity to rearrange them if we want. We decided to go with two open shelves for this area and a counter. There was actually a photo on Pinterest that I modeled this entire unit after and I'll have that linked up here somewhere. And then we have a few little like stylistic elements that just look pretty in the background, but it is a little bit practical. We have some of our camera bodies out, some of our lenses. This is actually all tile. This isn't wallpaper. I really wanted the texture of stone and it was hard to find a matte tile, but we needed something that wasn't reflective. So we went with this matte gray, almost concrete looking vertical tile. And what I love the most about this room is all of the natural light. It does get a little challenging when we are filming. So we have these blackout curtains. We didn't get very expensive ones. These are from Ikea and these are blackout curtain rods. So they wrap around the side completely. Those were actually even more expensive than the curtains. So that brings us to my desk. As you guys know, we love our fully desks in this office. This is a standing desk. It's the Jarvis model, the three stage low with the eco top. We've got grommets on both sides. We have another little like clamp on power bar here. This chair we just got at Structube, I believe. It's actually just a lounge chair, but I really like sitting cross-legged when I work. So because it's so wide, I can sit however I want and just like lean back. And it wasn't very expensive. Structube is very affordable. So very kindly Grove Made sent us a few little accessories for our desks. So one of the things they sent us was this charging stand for my phone. It just magnetizes right onto that. And I find it really handy when I'm doing like FaceTime or Zoom meetings because it can just be propped up right there and charging the entire time. They sent this beautiful gold pen with a stand. So it's kind of nice to have out. So I got this little desk box organizer and I was thinking this will be really handy for when I'm traveling as well. So you can actually plug it in so this becomes a charging area for your phone as well. You can reposition these like little tabs in here to store whatever you need. This is Josh's desk and our beautiful feature wall of some of my favorite 
photographs. We just made them all black and white. This was a huge pain because not only did we have to get all like the measurements right on the wall, we also had to adjust like the picture hanging the wire on the back of each frame and it was stressful. By the way, if you guys are curious what computer I'm running on my desk, I have a whole video about building that. So that'll be linked up here as well. So I'm not gonna go through that in this video, but this is Josh's desk. So we've got an Asus monitor. We have a video where we feature this monitor as well. We'll have that linked. And we've got the Mac mini, guys. Very exciting with the M1 chip. He has the Remy desk from Fully. He has that full control panel that I was mentioning before so he can preset different heights. Grove made also supplied this beautiful desk mat for him and he was finding that just using his mouse on his desk wasn't working so well. So when we received this desk pad, I don't know what else to call it. He loves it and it actually looks really nice too. So it matches his chair. Um, it's this really nice felt material. So again, bringing in different textures into the room is always nice. And we also got him a chair from Structube. The cats really like his chair. Didn't quite make it. It's all about the look. Okay, it's, all, it's about having a pretty office, not necessarily functional all the time. Again, these are just a bunch of things we pulled. This was from the old office. It's a plant from Art of Planto. It's not real, I kill everything. We're moving past it, I'll work on it. I'm adulting in a lot of other ways than having real plants, okay? And you guys might recognize this. It's the remember why you started sign and we decided I would keep that in my office because I found the quote and I really wanted this in the old office. So I kind of stole it for ours. Speaking of lighting, believe it or not, this is actually from Amazon. And and it's one of those like Sputnik bulb lights. And we just bought a bunch of Edison bulbs again from Amazon and it looks great. This is one of the first things we installed in the room. This one worked out perfectly and I think it was only $100. So not super expensive, really affordable. If you guys wanna know where we bought anything for this room, everything that I can link will be linked in the description box below. So thank you guys so much for watching this giant renovation project. If you like this video, please give it a like down below. Subscribe if you're not already and hit the notification bell to get notified for all future videos. This was a long one, so please, please do at least one of those three things and I'll see you in the next one.